three break points. That is sensational from Krajicek, and he takes the set. That was only the third set Sampras had dropped in the championship. In the second set, the serve again was dominant. We joined. 15 left. Well, Richard, uh, a sort of minor version of what happened to poor Boris Becker. He mistimed that return and uh, jarred his wrist all the way up his, his arm. 14. Well, that looked way long. It really did. Yes. The replay suggesting it was quite a distance long. I suspect that one was uh, beyond the reach of Cyclops. Game Sampras. Michael Jordan, eat your heart out. Well, this shot will have made Sampras feel a lot better. It's a speciality shot of his. I don't see anybody else playing it anywhere near like him. Just look at the leap. Thank now you. he connects in the middle of the racket at the top of a jump about a yard high. Extraordinary shot. Five all. Fifteen left. Oh yes, the running forehand, that's another speciality of Sampras. Yes it is, he's played many of these in his life. Wonderful shot, but there haven't been many. Not too many have been strung together. That stop stops a run of points on serve. Fifteen points have been won consecutively on serve until that one. Thirty fifty. Just the faintest suspicion of a wrong footing shot then was enough to win Sampras that point. No harm done, except to his pride. Feel sorry for the court when uh, a man of the size of Crunchett falls down like that. Yeah, he's a very cheerful, very pleasant fellow. And it's a bit undignified to do that. Sometimes shakes up your uh, rhythm as well. He's a tight moments, five all deuce.
Well, this is just a masterclass in how to pass down the line on the backhand. Santos. He just had enough top spin to make it dip. And finally, Sampras has another chance to Thank break. A moment like this hasn't happened since the beginning of the first set. Well, it was a little late and it was a little strangled, the call. Keeper's on his way to the chair then. Must have been so close. Advantage, quite it. Check leads six games to five. Second set and one set to look. Absolute relief for Daphne Deckers as her man, Richard Krychek, comes out of that situation. Breaks and win a tie break. Fifteen. Sampras shook his head then as much as to say, you know, you were stupid to leave that. It was so close and it had a bit of topspin on it. which turned into a very awkward lob. Well, these sort of things are happening against Sampras and for Krajcek. That gives him a chance to shoot that one down the line, a very impressive shot. It's been called good. Krychek thought it had gone long. I'll tell you something, the only reason that was good and called good was that it was a faint miss hit. It was not out of the middle of the racket. Had it been, had it been what Sampras intended to hit it out of the middle, I think it would have been long and the set would have gone.
Celtic Santos. You know, I think that this sort of weather is actually is actually helping Krychek because uh, Sampras uh, needs to get a sort of a rhythm and going on and off the court you can't can't, can't get that sort of rhythm and uh, Krychek's serve they don't come any bigger they really don't he's uh, about the hardest server in the game uh, you know Sampras is a, serves a lot of you know big serves Rosetsky is probably and even is probably the best left-handed serves in the game and Krychek and Rosse and Sampras are probably the biggest right-handed serves in the game and, you know, as I said, get to a tiebreaker and it's anybody's business. Mm. So is he going to be praying for better weather tomorrow so we can get in a rhythm? Is that, is that the Well, point? he's only got one set to get in a rhythm. <laughs> I mean, he's got, he's got a break serve at some stage. Uh, sure, he could win the tiebreaker, but, uh, you know, Kry he's serving a lot of balls to Krychek's backhand, which is his strength. Well, my feeling is that uh, even though Sampras has been serving very well during this tournament, that he's, he doesn't feel that confident serving wide. Whether he feels like he's, maybe he's going to slip if, the, if he sort of hit the, uh, Krychek hits the ball down the line. I don't know, but uh, you know, it seems to me that the, the points that we saw here and the big points, Sampras went to his backhand, and uh, that's his strength, Krychek's strength, and he, he can hit winners off that. He's not just a big serve; he's mm. got he's got other shots, and it's, he's going to really have to, you know, pull himself together, Pete. I was going to say he's been tipped for the top for a long time, Krychek. He really is um, proving it here, though. Finally, in a, in a big Grand Slam. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's done well in the Australian Open, but he's. Uh, I think there's a lot of question marks about him mentally. Uh, he's, he has injuries or I mean, question marks about his injuries and about how tough he is mentally. And I think he's uh, clearly shown that he's, he's become tough now. Mm -hmm. He's done, did very well in the French Open. He's doing well here. Um, and, you know, he's, as he said in the interview, he said, you know, I'm quite happy to let my racket do the talking now. You know, I don't want anybody talking about my injuries or me losing, you know, matches, which I should have won and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I think he's pretty determined. Yeah, we'll find out tomorrow. What